So what have these first couple weeks of the season been like for you? Uh, they've been great. I got the opportunity that I've been wanting to play. So I feel like I'm making the most of it. I feel like I could do more. But it's way, the way we playing as a defense, I'm really satisfied. Well, I'm not satisfied, but I like the way we're playing. We can keep going, and it's looking good. What do you feel like is clicking for the defense as a whole right now? We're just playing hard and playing for each other. We all got that chip on our shoulder because I feel like we transfers. I'm going to transfer myself. We got a bunch of transfers that probably won't get an opportunity ahead of their school. We got young guys that really want it. So it's all about we just trying to prove ourselves. I mean, we don't got to, but we know what we can do. We know we can play ball. So that's really what's bringing it along and bringing it all together. What's, um, what do you like about Coach Guerrero? It seems like he's already gained a lot of trust from Coach Allen. Just what, how have you seen him kind of make his mark on the defense? Uh, he made his mark because he pushed, I say he pushed us to a level that ain't no bar for him. Like, ain't no standing, ain't no sit high with him. He always used to say, it ain't good enough, or like, that's really just it. It ain't good enough. So we always go to high standards. He ain't never satisfied. I like it like that, too. He always push us on the field. Like, he just got that tell us he gonna coach us hard, but it's, it's all love. He still love us. It. It's never personal. Nobody take it personal. So it's like, you're trying to meet the standard, but it ain't no standard, if that makes sense. What's kind of impressed you about uh, Philip Donham the first couple of weeks? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm, in, I w I'm impressed. I, I expect it now, being with him for this year two together with him. I expect it now. If he don't do it, then I feel I see a problem. But the, what y'all seeing is what he do. He's a ball player. He was the turnover guy in the preseason in the fall camp. The, the coaches said forcing all those turnovers. I was, I was the turnover too? guy. Yeah, I was the turnover <laughs> guy. He was Knicks. But yeah, he is though. Is, he, that, a, is that a friendly competition then? Almost oh, definitely. Most definitely, because we the safety. I like, yeah. I like picks, so I got to catch up to him now. He ahead of me by one, but it's coming. You don't wait on it. Yeah, does Phil have bragging rights in the room with, as long as the takeaway belt so far? Uh, He don't really say too much, because like I said, he always do it, so he don't say nothing to bragging rights, but I let him know I'm coming, most definitely. I think the coaches said you were the loudest guy in the defense, too. Trash talker, is that, is that you? Oh, yeah, most definitely got to. We, we on the field. We only got two hours together. It's time to compete. We got to make each other better. So if we go out there and nobody talking, it's football. That's going to be quiet. We don't play no music or nothing, so somebody got to bring it. Somebody got to bring the energy. So in the why game, not do you me? do that too? Are you trash talking in the game? Almost definitely. But I don't think they can hear me in the game because the crowd, like, I be trying to get my opponents <laughs> to hear me, but if they hear me, they don't. Are my, you, are, do you guys look up guys? Like, do you do research for trash talk, or are you just, is it free flowing? Oh, it's free flow. We don't know them. They don't know us. So whatever yeah. we say, it ain't nothing personal. It ain't nothing crazy. It's, it's on the field. It's stay between the lines, really. Gotcha. Has there ever been a time where it's gotten a little, where it's gotten a little close to the line? <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say here, nah, because really I ain't played nobody here. They just talk trash. They just be like, "You suck," something like that. <laughs> but I say I take it a little bit farther. But you, know. you said Coach Guerrero is never really satisfied with what you guys did. Obviously, you only you allowed less than a hundred yards against Indiana State. What was his like message to you after to not be satisfied with that? It wasn't good enough. Cause like that second quarter, they had a like a thirteen play drive. It shouldn't have happened, but they pulled our players too. So it's, it could have happened. They playing hard, just like we playing hard. But it, the standard, after what the standard to me, it should be three and that. We got three plays. We got a call. Go execute the calls. Get out the field. Give offense the ball. They go score. That's how it should be. What was Coach Allen's against Indiana State when they had that long drive before Nick's interception? I think Coach Allen called a timeout. What was kind of his message uh, during that? Oh, I feel he was hot. He was mad. He was like, it ain't good enough. That's that's the really, that's the, the comment. I mean, it was like, it ain't good enough. That's not our standard. Calling people out the lead. Like, we got our leaders. All 11 should be the leaders, really. But calling people out, get it together. Like, we played the rest of the game the same way. This one drive, we letting up off the gas. That's really what it looked like. And we can't do that because eventually it's going to hurt us. It's going to put us in a slump. We can't have that. Have you reviewed the film of Louisville? What are your, what are your impressions of their offense? Oh, they're explosive. They're very explosive. I watch their receivers. They look fast. Running back, very fast. I like them. It's just going to be a competition. That's why I like. That's why I came here for. Play the best. And I feel like that's what we get this week. We get it every week, really. But this week, it just feel like it's another challenge because, like, we play the highest state. We play Indiana State. We don't play two games. Just keep getting better. Keep proving people wrong. It's just going to make us close and build the uh, confidence in the room. Any, you know, simil oh, any similarities you see on the tape between, you know, uh, things that you saw in Purdue's tape last year since obviously the coaching staff has kind of some similarities? Uh, yeah, the way they call they plays, like first, second down we did today, I ain't really looked uh, into third down, but yeah, it looks similar. With that team speed that they have, you mentioned the receivers, 
Do you have to be on point? I mean, you, you, I mean you're the last line of defense, right? I mean, oh, yeah, I got to be on point because yeah, I'll be in the post or it's feeling in the post. And then they do a lot of – they take a lot of shots. And they receive is really supposed to – like, watch, we watched Georgia Tech game yesterday. It was – with their ball in their hands, they missed they, – they made Georgia Tech miss a lot of tackles. So, after that, we just got to get them on the ground. But we, we, we done did good not letting up explosives over the top this year to receive us. So, that's really – that's one thing. Keep your thing in front of us. Get the ball on the ground. Anything else for Luke?